Hello, it's Thursday, the 19th of March 2015. We are reporting for the BBC School Report. I'm Oren, and this is my fellow reporter, Kieran. Is it me, or do you look different today? Yeah, I've got a fabulous new haircut. Oh, OK. <coughs> today we are reporting Red Nose Day 2015. Red Nose Day was a big event held at our school on Friday the 13th. At the start of the day, the, the hall was full of buzzing children ready to get started with the day. In total, our school raised a whopping, wait, wait for it, and now it's, t it's now time to go to the weather with Hannah and Alex. Hello, I'm Hannah. And I'm Alex. Today we're reporting the weather for the BBC School Report. It's quite a chilly day today, Hannah. Don't you agree? Yes, I do. We have a gust of money coming in from the Brunel house. And a storm of pounds coming from the Columbus house. And now it's raining red noses from Avery. That's all from us. Back to Kieran and Oren at the BBC School Report studio. First we're going to cover the Chubby Bunny Challenge. Oh, I love bunnies. No, it's a game. What, do you, what you do is shove as many marshmallows in your mouth as you say Chubby Bunny. Oh wait, we have the winner coming here, Georgina. I can't get up. Hey guys. So, how was your experience? Oh, I felt amazing at first. I was really bad and I only got free. As I went on, it was worse and worse experience. But what about those poor bunnies you were shoving in your mouth? I don't think you get the game. Anyway, how did you get? How many did you get in total? Oh, I got a whopping eighteen. It was such a show off. Um. Okay. Just in, we have a video of our fellow reporter, journalist Ashley, attempting the challenge. Ashley, um, you just did the chub, chub, Chubby Bunny Challenge. How many did you get? I don't actually know. How many did I get? 13. Thirteen. Great. Um, and what was the record? Fourteen. Fourteen. You oh, were one away! I was one away! Okay. I'm with you! How, how did you feel while doing the Chubby Bunny Challenge? I felt like so a sense challenge. of self-confidence and self-success overcame me. Because I had so many marshmallows in my mouth. <laughs> Okay. So much fun. <laughs> so, so was much it better than the cracker challenge? Yes, was it better than the cracker challenge? It was much better than the cracker challenge as the as the marshmallows actually tasted nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. No problem. Now for the cake sale. Mmm, cake. Mmm, the cake sale was amazing and very, very tasty. What was your favourite cake then, Kieran? All of them, they were amazing. This was an amazing job from the year 10 and hope this isn't the last cake sale. I need more cake. I've only got biscuits. Thanks. Another painful event that ran smoothly was leg waxing. Stop with your awful puns. My puns are amazing. The people who got the legs waxed were Matthew, Jordan and Louis. And we had a painfully good time watching it. Now for the face painting. Oh, I love face painting. It's just amazing. You should have your face painted as a mop. Why? Because you're annoying and attracted to the spotlight. Rude. Anyway, everyone had fun having their face painted and it was only 50p per face. Well, every little helps for the raffle. You can't not, you can't not have a raffle. There were some hilarious prizes. And some tasty ones. It was only 30p for one ticket, 50 for two, and one pound for four. That's a bargain. The last event was the cracker challenge. It was a cracking time. Our journalist Ashley attempted it, but failed. Poor Ashley. And after, after all, all these, these events, events we, we raised £1,001.45p. Hi, so welcome Matthew. Tell us what you actually did for Comic Relief. I got 
my legs waxed. Oh, my God, that was to hurt. Yeah, it was a bit painful down the bottom. So, like, how did you feel at first before you actually got your legs waxed? Were you having second thoughts? Um, I was quite excited about it because I wanted to get them waxed and I wanted to have the chance of doing it when I was in year 11, but I got the chance in year 10. So I thought, yeah, let's do this. I raised quite a lot and I didn't expect that. Um, and when it got closer, I was sort of worried a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So how much money did you raise exactly? About hundred pounds. That's quite a lot. Yeah. So I bet you were really proud. Yeah, I was happy about that. Yeah. Thank you very much, Matthew. And um, yeah. Thanks. thanks, Georgina, and also many thanks to everybody who has committed themselves to this project. No matter if they worked on or offset. Everyone has been working really hard here at Job Journalists. Thank you for listening, and we hope to see you soon. And, and good, good night. night. I'm still worried about those poor bunnies. Oh, dude! <laughs> Guys, the bunnies! Ah! I'm not doing the sound. Hey. Sir. Oh, no, no, no.